And welcome back, everybody, to more of The Cat Lady. Uh, let's talk. This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? Uh, let's say I had a great dad. Yeah, I had a great dad. I have very fond memories of my father. He was always there for me, no matter what I did. He never got angry or upset. I suppose I never really gave him any reasons to be. I was a good child. Not perfect. But then again, no one's perfect. Whatever made me try to kill myself, it definitely has nothing to do with him. Where is he now? He died six years ago. Cancer. Do you miss him? Of course I miss him. How can you even ask me that? It's my job to ask these questions, Susan. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? Uh, I'll say I lost her. I lost her when I was still a child. So you were brought up by a single dad. What happened to your mother? She... I'll say abandoned. Abandoned me. I just wish I knew why. She never tried to contact me or anyone in her family. No letters, no phone calls, nothing. She can be dead as far as I know. It was just me and my dad. My dad and me. Every <clears throat> day spent wondering whose fault it was that she left us. A question without the answer. I guess we were secretly hoping that one day she would return. Naive fools. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes, and we will talk about something else. Okay. What is that? I need to get out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. That's not happening. I don't want to lie down. Uh, still feels uh, kind of thing, but I nearly died here myself. Wait, I did die for a moment, didn't I? Let's look under it. Nothing interesting. Damn it! See, it's not a real point and click game. The needles are stuck at 1008. It's probably broken. Let's take some gloves. Take one glove. I don't want it to be suspicious. Drug chat. It's a list of the drugs for patient inside room two. I guess that's me then. I'm on a lot of I'm on a lot of sedatives, it appears. And the stuff they're giving me could knock out a horse and give it a headache for a week too. Could also cause hallucinations, hallucinations, <laughs> hallucinations and paranoia. How bizarre! Why would they want to give me all that? I'm not crazy, I know that for sure. If anyone's crazier, it's someone who put me on all this medication for no good medical reason. Interesting. Bunch of chrysanthemums. No way. I don't like flowers. Alright. What's down this hall? Hello. This... I guess I should wait my turn. Uh, what is this drug chart? It's a list of drugs for a patient in side room one and some notes. According to this, her name is Ann Burton, 35. She's taking a lot of sedatives and has a long history of drug abuse. It seems that on the top of it all, she's taking methadone for heroin withdrawal. 
At the bottom of the page, there's a note saying she act, uh, she's actually a private patient who's staying here out of her own free will. Lucky lady, I guess it won't be so easy for me to leave the ward. Oh. I've already got one glove in my pocket. There's nothing interesting. I don't want to lie down in someone else's bed. I bet you think those red-rimmed glasses make her look attractive. I know her kind all too well, completely dedicated to her job, yet totally bra brainless and close-minded. Is Liz here? And who's Liz? That young nurse who was here last night. Black hair, very chatty. She said her name was Liz. Uh, I'm sorry, a lot of people come through here. I can't remember everyone's name. Can She's you return nurse. to your bed now, please? It's nearly time for your medication. I can't be chasing around after every single patient. Beg your pardon? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, all right? Uh, it's a discharge letter for Ann Burton, currently a patient in room one. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. If you Bam! are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. Uh, they're piled up on the desk. I won't be able to get them either. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. I was only going to tidy up. I'm sorry, are you one of the housekeepers? Why did you dress up as a patient? I just can't stand mess, that's all. And there's no need to be sarcastic. Who's being sarcastic? All right, bitch. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, where's the exit? It's just down the corridor, ma'am. Thanks. I'll be on my way then. Can I see the discharge letter first? A discharge letter? What for? Some of our patients are under observation and aren't allowed out of the ward. For their own safety, of course. It sounds like we're prisoners here. It's for the patient's safety, ma'am. If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid I can't let you through. May I ask what your name is? Uh... My name is... Mary Smith. Let me through, please. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you, ma'am. You should talk to the doctor first and come back with a letter and some form of identification. Alright, so that's not going to work. Can I make a phone call, please? Oh, yes, of course. But the phone's being used at the moment. Can you please come back in five minutes? Thanks. I'd like to go home now. Well, so would I. But there are procedures and a system in place. Hmm. They can't just let you go like that. What? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, alright? The glasses are gonna have to be something. I would think, anyway. I feel much better now. Can you please discharge me? I'm glad to hear that. But I can't discharge you until Dr. X sees you. He should be doing his round very soon. Please return to your bed and wait for him, alright? Uh, I guess that's it. Is Liz here? Uh, that black... Uh, I can you return to your... It's ne I can't... Beg your pardon. Look, I'll come in. So yeah, I'm kind of out of stuff to do. Oh. Wait, what? This must be the patient from side room too. God, doesn't she look confused? Is that me? Just younger? Hi. Hi. Are you alright? 
Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're not one of those lovely nurses, either. They look after me so well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless it's mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. Um, uh. yeah, sure. I'm a good friend of your mother. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well. But you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Yeah, sure I do. Now, let me ask you. What is it? Oh, well... What is my mother's name? Hmm... Uh... uh... Anne Burton. No, that's my name. You don't know my mother, you little liar. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Can I go in here? Yeah, I can. Let's see what we can, uh... Looks like it hasn't been emptied for a while. There's a lot of discarded medication pots in there, among other good stuff. Let's take one of these medication pots. Uh, please stop writing messages on the mirror. While we are currently experiencing difficulties maintaining high levels of cleanliness due to sudden absence of our cleaning staff, we ask all patients to be considerate and help us keep the ward tidy. Can't look at myself. The mirror is cracked. A large shot of glass is lying on the side. Wait. If they find it, they'll think I'm a complete psycho. But it might be useful to... I'll risk it. Open the lid. Can I... It's rather filthy. I'm dying for a wee ever since I woke up. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, sure. You can pee. And, uh, flush. Can I wash hands? I guess not. That may have been a mistake. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? Uh... I'm feeling a bit woozy. Are you really? You look fine to me. No, I I'm really not feeling well. Fine, I'll call the doctor for you. But I can't help it if he's busy and can't get here straight away. In the meantime, I know how to make you feel better. I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Uh... Susan Ashworth, 24th of May, 1970. I'm just going to check your name band now to confirm that. That's fine. That's fine. I'd like you to drink this liquid, please. It will help you relax. It will help you relax. Uh-oh. Getting some double. Are you insane? I'm not taking any medication. I'm not ill. Okay. We are prepared for this. Jim, can you come in, please? Uh-oh. You must be kidding me. Unfortunately, I'm not. I'm going to give you an injection. You'll feel a sharp scratch. Hold it for me, would you? Oh, great.
Good night. Now, go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. Hmm. Hmm. It's an awesome game, just the atmosphere of it is is very, very well done. I mean, I know that's my door. I just kind of want to see... Oh, wow. So hard to concentrate. Is this thing filled with drugs? Wow, this is really fucked up. Red liquid is gushing out. How can this hustle escape from this horrible place? Uh... Alright. I guess really the only thing I can do is lie down. Interesting. Why do I look different? I look younger. No, the drugs have worn off and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. Shall we swap our name bands? Mother always told me not to talk to strangers. I can't take it. I, I'm being good now. Only talk to my nurses and good friends. Um. I forget what... I mean, I gotta get her mother's name, obviously. And I lost my glass shard. So there's really nothing I can do in here. Maybe I can ask the nurse what this woman's name is. If that's Susan Ashworth, uh... Heels are stuck at 1140. All of them broken. Huh. Can I make a phone call, please? Oh, but the phone's be can you please Thanks. That's the discharge letter. Our folders and security. Sorry, ma we'll need to see a dish. Right. It seems that a. D Maybe I can talk to that woman more. Not quite sure what else. If you really That's are a friend, the name that haunts. But I know it. Joan. Joan. No, leave me alone. Alright, folks, I'm going to cut here. As always, thanks for watching. Tune in the next. Thanks for watching, everybody.